Alright folks, let's dive into the world of Huawei and their incredible journey with Harmony OS. Huawei is known for pooling of miracles. Just to think about the elusive Mate 60 Pro and the i2 M7 and M9. And guess what? The upcoming release of Harmony OS Next is going to be another game changer. So, what the heck is Harmony OS? Well, back in 2019, Huawei announced this brand new cutting edge distributed operating system called Harmony OS at their global developer conference. Fast forward to 2023, after four years of development, this bad boy has evolved into a powerhouse. Based on a micro canal architecture and designed to cater to all kinds of scenarios, Harmony OS boasts over 100 million lines of code and more than 20,000 APIs. Harmony OS ecosystem has already exceeded 700 million devices and a whopping 2.2 million developers are diving headfirst into the Harmony OS development. Harmony OS Level 4 has won the heart of consumers with over 100 million devices upgraded in just 3 months. It's officially the farthest upgraded Harmony OS version in history. Impressive, huh? As Huawei's president of Terminal Software, Gong Ti, put it, it's building Harmony OS is like fighting three battles. We've already conquered two. The third battle is all about building a thriving ecosystem. Their success hinge on operating systems like iOS, Android, and also the good old Intel, Windows plus Intel, as we all know. For the longest time, our world has been dominated by the iOS and Android, with other contenders trying to grab a piece of the pie, but ultimately fading away. It's been a vicious cycle of monoplies. As a little calmer, Huawei faced an uphill battle challenging the giants and trying to solve the puddle they couldn't crack. Plus, they had to deal with unpredictable external factors. Initially, many folks had doubts about Huawei venturing to the smart device OS, but guess what? Today, Harmony OS has become the third largest mobile operating system after Android and iOS. In the first quarter of 2023, it held around 2% of the global market share and a whopping 8% in the Chinese market. Whether you look at the member or the market share, it's crystal clear that Harmony OS is on the rise. The world can no longer underestimate the power of Harmony OS. It's time to take a closer look at the game changer. Well, I'm Sheila Wong, and if you want to stay in the loop with the latest and greatest business and investment insights, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe my channel. And hey, I'm all here for yourself in the comment section below. If you are hungry for a more detailed investing report, make sure to check out my analysis report down below. Now, let's we dive into today's topic. Building an ecosystem is not an easy job especially in the mutual market of operating system. So how the heck did Huawei manage to catch the attention of ecosystem players and bring them into the fold? Well, first thing first, because let's be real, developers gonna eat too, right? It takes some serious funding to develop an ecosystem that's gonna stick around. That's where Huawei's home phone program comes in offering shared technical support, ecosystem marketing, business collaborations, developer support funds, and more. But hey, throwing money around alone isn't gonna guarantee winning over developers and vendors, right? If they can't create a happy and enjoyable development experience for the millions of ecosystem participants, they might end up with a bunch of half-baked applications that fizzle out like Windows Phone. So, if Huawei wants the developers and the application vendors to jump on board, Harmony OS need to do two things. First, they gonna set higher standards in terms of technical benchmarks, focusing on the future and creating a user experience that connected to everything. 
Sea Gardener make everyone see the bright future of the whole system, right? Second, they're gonna make it easier for developers by smoothing out the development process and make it more convenient than ever to build how many applications. To achieve this, you know, Huawei has been working tirelessly for years, rolling out various tools, and now they've got a complete set of how many development kits. But it doesn't stop there. Outside of the conference, Harmony takes the spotlight in various tech forums and small gatherings. Apart from the annual develop conference, Huawei organized all sorts of online and offline events, even going straight to campuses to connect with developers. And here we're talking about the Harmony OS innovation camps. It seems like they've covered every place of the internet-related industries. Get this, data shows that over 1.7 million people have already participated in Harmony Academy courses and offline events this year. This just goes to show the enthusiasm and high expectation people have for Harmony. In the new year, 2024, they're taking on a whole new challenge with Harmony OS Next, aiming to create an operating ecosystem for the everyday peeps at the Huawei Ocinero new product launch. Richard E dropped the boom and officially announced the all skier launch of native Harmony OS application. Richard said those applications would bring a historic leap in the mobile application ecosystem. Smoother, smarter, and safer. But what's so different about Harmony OS next? And what's the latest scoop on Harmony OS? Well, Huawei's Harmony OS has come a long way, my friend, as we know. After more than four years and several major updates, we've now rocking Harmony OS level four. And let me tell you, it's not just a pack with more features, but it's also compatible with a whole bunch of devices. We started with phones, but now we're expanding to tablets, watches, TVs, and you name it. Harmony OS Next is built from the ground up, ditching the traditional Linux kernel and AOSP code. It's what we call pure blood Harmony OS. This means that Harmony OS Next won't be compatible with Android anymore. APK files won't open on this bad boy. Huawei's Harmony OS is now a fully independent system, just like Apple's iOS, building its own Unix system. And here we can elaborate what's going on with the customer market and the business market. For the customer market, Harmony OS is set to make a grand entrance in the customer space. You blood Harmony OS PCs and smartphones are about to hit the same. And let me tell you, if Harmony OS PCs make their debut, they will initially target government and enterprise users. We all know that Huawei has been facing some challenges with the Kirin 9000's chief supply. But according to Tech Insights, these limitations might ease up in the coming months. In this situation, we believe Huawei will make a solid comeback in 2024 shuffling the Chinese smartphone operating system market and snatching market share from Apple and Android manufacturers. And get this, over 400 companies have already started developing native Harmony OS applications covering various categories like navigation, news, tools, travel, finance, lifestyle, food, and games, what you can image. Well, on the business side, as Harmony OS takes giant leaps forward, they're also ramping up their open source game. Harmony OS open source community has participated up with over 150 companies, rolling out more than 350 software and hardware products. Big giants like Alipay, Meituan, Mihayu, Bilibili, and Golden Maps and Jingdong.com. Hundreds of top partners have jumped on the Harmony OS application development. So we firmly believe that the Harmony OS system is shaping up nicely, my friend. Well, next year is going to be the year of native Harmony OS applications. We're super bullish on the investment opportunity in this field.
So if you want to dive deeper into the Harmony OS industry chain and grab those juicy opportunities, just check out my detailed analysis report, my friend. See you next time.